Hello, in this video I will show you how to manage marketing pressure in Salesforce Marketing Cloud by moderating the frequency of email campaigns using SQL and Deselect. I will demonstrate how to exclude subscribers who received the email in the last 7 days in SFMC using SQL first. So how are we going to do it? We will populate the data extension with subscribers who received an email in the last seven days so we can use it to suppress these subscribers from campaigns later. So first thing that we need to do is to actually create our target data extension. In order to do this we need to open email studio and under the subscribers click on data extensions and then find the folder where you would like to create your data extension and then click on create on the right. We're going to create a standard data extension. Click OK. Call it suppression DE. Choose if it's sendable or testable and then press next. Uh, next and now we're going to define the fields that we would like to see in our target data extension. So the fields that we would like to have are going to be subscriber key, then email address and date. Now we're going to choose the field type and for subscriber key it remains text and then click on create. You can also add some other fields uh, depending on your needs. So now we can see how our data extension is going to look like. We see that it has zero records at the moment and uh, yeah, you can have a look here. And how would actually SQL query will look like for uh, this kind of scenario? I'm going to show you this now. So this is the SQL query for the first scenario that we are going to show. So we are selecting data views. As you can see, they start with the uh, underscore. So we select uh, data view subscribers and create an inner join between them, between uh, data view subscribers and send. Uh, we define the relationship based on the subscriber key and we choose the date here. So we choose seven days uh, before now. So we choose the relative date. So this is how the SQL query will look like for this kind of scenario if you would like to suppress this audience from your future email campaigns to avoid marketing pressure. Next, I'm going to show how to create uh, the similar scenario using Deselect, which is a no-code segmentation solution for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So now let's find out subscribers who have received uh, email in the last seven days using Deselect. So first thing that we need to do is to actually open Deselect. It can be found in the menu on the, to on the right under App Exchange. Here you can click on Deselect, then you will be redirected to this overview screen and from here we can uh, click on New Selection. We can give a name to our new selection, let's call it uh, also a Suppression DE. And uh, here we're given the opportunity to choose from all the available data extensions and also all the data views. So let's start with an underscore uh, and then find the data view subscribers, drag and drop it to the right. Here we can provide a uh, alias for our data extension or data view, but we're not going to do this and press save. Now let's find another data view that we're going to use, uh, which is the send and drag and drop it on top of our first data view. Again, we can provide an alias for data view here, but we're not going to do this, so let's press save here. And now basically this is a visual representation of the joints in SQL. So we indeed have to create a sort of an inner join, which is uh, the first default relationship that we're going to use. But we need to choose based on which field we want to uh, create a relationship. And we're going to choose uh, subscriber key from subscribers and subscriber key from the data view sent. 
uh, as you can see some fields are even faded so you cannot select them because the field type the data type uh, which is in this field is not correct so uh, in order to avoid the further mistakes it's already faded so let's press save here and now uh, here on the left side we can find all the available fields from this data view so so we're going to choose the field event date let's search for this uh, in the data view send and drag and drop it to the right here we're going to choose equals relative before now and choose seven days before now then we can move on to the target de definition and uh, here we can actually create our target data extension so we can here on the fly already create our target data extension so we're just going to call it suppression de also choose if it's sendable or testable provide the retention policy and press save so the fields that we defined uh, previously we're going to use here but now it's really easy to do we just need to simply drag and drop the fields from our uh, initial data view so subscriber key then event date and email we can also uh, choose some other fields if we need and press save and create Now, lastly, we can move on to the preview and press run preview. So the preview will bring us the first 20 results out of our final uh, data extension. And if we're satisfied with the results, we can already press run and the query will be run uh, inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud and your target data extension will be populated. But if we're not satisfied with what we're seeing as a result, we can always go back. So the preview will return you similar results like this. So we have the subscriber key, email address and event date. Since we haven't sent any emails in the last seven days, uh, the date is not correct but this is just an example data just to show how uh, the results will look like so if we're satisfied with them we can simply press run for now uh, and that's it for today's video thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more tutorials like this and uh, follow our sfmc best practices and uh, thank you for watching and bye